attest to the fact that we live with our parents' mistakes. When I was no more than two years old, I was taken away from my biological family because of drug-related issues and placed with strangers. Being transferred into a variety of different homes over the years, I was left feeling like a reject child, feeling unwanted and unloved, like I was my parents' mistake. I was still allowed to visit my biological family, but the visits were very short-lived. Shortly after I turned five, I was adopted and all ties were cut with my biological family. It was then that I learned I wasn't their mistake. I was just living with the mistakes they had chose to make. And even though there wasn't any communication between us, I was still living with my, my parents' mistakes. Any mistake or wrongdoing I committed was compared to them. Everyone who knew my history assumed that I would be my parents' reflection. Well, I'm here to stay. I will not. I am my own person. I will make my own mistakes, hopefully learning from them, so the children that I do plan on having way in the future will not have to live with them. I want, I want to show and teach them, like my adopted mother taught me, that it's okay to make mistakes. But every action bears a consequence. When people hear my story, they want to pity me. But why? The only difference between children who grew up with the stability and I are our living conditions. I'm still awarded the same education and the same opportunities as them. I still have a chance to make something of myself, to make my dreams a reality. A girl I attend school with has had the same issues I've overcome, but unfortunately, she still lives in a group home. I can sit there and observe her. She's constantly mad at the world, walking around like everybody else or something, always dragging heavy storm clouds into rooms that were once filled, once filled with sunshine. Of course, the easiest thing to do is give up, blame it on your parents' mistakes, but your past isn't an excuse to bail out on your future. It's an excuse to make something of yourself to show your past you can make a better one. If only that girl could let go of her parents' mistakes. If only she could stop living in the past. If only she knew how lucky she is. Right now as I speak, there are children overseas who do not have a roof over their head, who do not get three meals a day, let alone one, who are crying out to be saved. Living with abuse, drugs, alcoholism, they would much rather be in a group home. They might never have a way out. But she does. You can't change your past, but you, but you always have a chance to make your future how you would like it. I find no reason to pity myself. I look at my past as a way out, out of all of this, as my motivation to make something out of myself. I will become a children's social worker and make the only mother I've known proud that she raised such a strong, dedicated, independent daughter. The past is the past, and I'm done living it.